Hello, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Sony World Photography Awards, and this is going to be the open category winners, as I haven't given the overall winner yet, but I just figured it'd be interesting to share them with you in case you haven't seen the results or whatnot, and I'm just going to give my thoughts on what I like about the photos and why I think they won from the point of view of an amateur photographer. I'll now move myself down into the corner, and we'll take a look at the first photo. Alright, so this first photo is the winner for the street photography. Uh, category and I will say I think this is my favorite photo out of the whole thing It just the way it looks like the post-apocalyptic type feel is really cool And I really like the orange inside of the train it gives a nice contrast to the blue on the other side And then just there's that leading line down the middle that looks really nice and it, all, on the top of the ceiling as well And it's just overall a cool photo. I have like no doubts why this one won It's clearly like a good photo in terms of technicality interesting and like a, the story being told within the image all right so this next category is for the architecture and this image when i first saw it i just i have still have no idea how they even took this or where it's a very interesting photo it just like gives this weird sense and makes you question like where they took it and i think that really helps it uh the image succeed in the competition and all the lines in the photo just make it really like clear and crisp and i just gotta say like well done to this guy because it is an insane photo. So the next photo is for the creative category. And this photo, like there's just an interesting story being told, I think, within the image. Because it's just the warrior type feel of the person pictured is just really cool. And the background with like the clouds makes for a really nice image. And technically it seems like the person did everything right. Uh, I don't really have... Like, anything I can see this major. And I can see why this one won, too. Like, the other three, like, they're just insane photos. So this next one is for the landscape category. And, it, oh my gosh, like, it is just crazy. With the leading lines of the flowers, the tree in the middle, and, like, the contrast between the ground, the lightning level, and, like, the clouds, just creates for such an interesting photo and contrast with everything. And just the, like, ability to take photos of the lightning like that is insane. And you never really see photos like this that are just of weather. And weather photos are always cool in my opinion because the lightning is just, like, makes for such cool lines and movement in the photo. And I just really like how the tree is in the center and it's kind of symmetrical. And the only thing that differs from the symmetric, uh, the symmetry is the lightning bolts. And that just adds for, like, the coolness factor. Alright, so this next photo is the uh, winner for the lifestyle category. I mean, the soft focus with just like the two and then the soft like focus being let out over the rest of the image just makes for an interesting photo. And it's not even like anything crazy. Like, I could see a lot of people taking the same type of photo. It's just the way like they drew out the focus is really nice. And it just gives that like nice old school feel to it, in my opinion. And... There's not much contrast in it, so it all creates like them being the only like center of attention instead of the background having anything. Besides the umbrella, it's a cool umbrella. Alright, so the next category, uh, one for motion. And this photo is, and this photo is someone like cliff jumping off the side of it. And I think the black and white really does well for this image. And the center line of like the sky to the ocean. And then the, uh, the lady being like in the gray sky, and that being the only thing you can really tell it there, is really cool in my opinion. And the side, like having it from the rock, that made it really, really nice. Alright, so the next uh, category winner is for the natural world and wildlife photo. And this photo is just so, so cool. I really, I, it, I think it's interesting to see. I don't know if that's a... Uh, a rabbit I don't really know what animal that is but the tongue sticking out obviously is just funny and just looks crazy and the ability to just capture that and then having the animal literally the background you can't really tell anything else but just the animals in focus and I think that does well for this image because that's the main focus of the image obviously is the natural world and wildlife so the you can definitely tell like the texture on the bunny rabbit as well which is always important with like, animal photography because you want to see like the uh, smoothness of them or like the furriness of them and it's just a funny photo. I really like this one. Alright, so this next category is for the object. 
and I think it just gives a really nice, like, feeling in the image, you know? Like, it just seems empty and, uh, like, dark, kind of mysterious, like, why is that there? Like, what is it for? And the contrast between, like, the, uh, stand and the door in the background is, does well nicely, and then you can also see a little, little chair in the corner. And I think what really draws the image is, like, the windows peeking in, like, the natural light being, like, onto the actual object it does really well for this image and just like the feeling it gives in general like the darkness of it i think just does really well so well done with this one all right so this next category is for a uh, portrait and it's just of a like a child in russia i believe he's just like sitting on the table all the books in the background he's just looking off into the distance and i think it just creates a really nice pretty cool photo Again, like, the darkness of it, like, does well for the image, with just him being well lit, it seems. And, alright, so this next image is for the travel, uh, the travel category. And it's just of someone putting out, like, fish to dry in the sun. But the amount, just the sheer amount of fish in the entire frame, besides, like, the three rows where, uh, the lady is standing, it just creates for a really interesting look, and, like, you can definitely tell what she's trying to do, and the lines, like, go on all over like the leading lines and like the just the blocks I think works really well and it's just an interesting look into like what the lives is like for the lady maybe like what she does for a living sometimes just putting out the fish to dry and whatnot and her being in the center of the image like but to the lower creates it nice because you can just see the vastness of the fish drying and how much that she has already accomplished you know like putting them all out and it's just obviously a really cool photo So that was all the images. Uh, they are obviously all insane images with like really skillful uh, photographers behind them. So well done for that. Congratulations to everyone that won. Like they're all just really cool and I just wanted to share my thoughts and I felt like it'd be a cool video. And my personal favorites were the street photography category winner, the uh, landscape category winner, and the wildlife category winner. So let me know in the comments below which ones you think were your favorites and just some of your thoughts. I hope you uh, liked it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here. Um, and yeah, see ya. So I did just do the outro, but I thought of an, uh, a couple more things that I want to say about the photos. Specifically, the portrait one with the child. And I was thinking, like, it just gives a really interesting view to, like, the other side of childhood. Like, most of the time when you think of children, they're, like, running all over the place. Just, like, going crazy. But this one is, like, a moment of reflection, you know, just thinking. And I think that leads well to the photo and it gives an interesting look. And then also something else I realized about the, uh, the one with the, uh, fish, like, drying out. I read this online, actually, just now, that, uh, it's supposed to resemble, like, a fabric with the lady, like, weaving it all together, and that's just really interesting, and I can definitely see that. I don't know how I didn't pick up that earlier, but, yeah, that's all I thought about again, so...